it's about time. What's going on? Yo. Yo. Rumor Report. Rumor Report. This is the Rumor Report. Talk to him. With Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. All right, well, Joe Button has been teasing this Nicki Minaj interview that he has coming, and yesterday he released a snippet of their discussion, and here is what that sounded like. You know, once anybody has success with anything, it seems like everybody just jumps on that sound, even if they may not have even liked it. It might be people behind them telling them to do it. Once you do that, and once you do it a couple times, who, who then are you? We've now forgotten who you are. I don't think people realize that. If you jump on it, every trend, you become faceless. It's like... This is a deep point. Yeah. It's important. It's important people know this. I'll stop it when she stopped telling the truth. No, I ain't hear no lie. She's, she's spitting facts. Mm-hmm. I didn't hear a lie. So there's no release date yet for this interview, but I'm sure it's going to be uh, high up there as far as views. All right, now, Damon Dash recently sat down with Shannon Sharp for a club Shay Shay, and he talked about his legal issues with Jay-Z and why he is suing him. Hey, bro, hug it out. We hey. straight. What you talking about? Why you Don't listen to the paper. Why are you in court, then, if y'all straight? Because he sued me for something that he said that I did that I didn't, and then I just had to sue him because he was redirecting funds for reasonable doubt. I didn't realize it. It's just... I would never sue somebody I used to hustle with. I'm not into suing anybody. I right. was disappointed. I think it's embarrassing. You know, again, the program is when two black people used to work together and now they don't, then they got to be beefing. I'm not beefing with that man. I don't care what he's doing. I don't like the way he carried things, but, you know, that's on him. He went his way, I went mine. Now, he also talked about Kanye West in the interview and whether or not he thought that Kanye would become as successful as he is. He said he never expected it in a billion years, but he did say that nothing surprises him. So you can watch that full interview, like I said, with Shannon Sharp on Club Shay Shay. That's interesting, because Dame always believed in uh, Kanye from the beginning. So I wonder, I wonder what did he see in Ye? Like, he believed in him, so I wonder how big did he think he could possibly get, you know? Mm-hmm. All right, now let's talk about uh, Delicious and Raymond Santana from the Central Park Five. Uh, He has filed for divorce from Delicious, and she is accusing him now of being unfaithful. Now, she went publicly on social media, and she said, I married a narcissist who was a complete liar and a cheat, and I'm finally ready to speak my truth. Stay tuned. Hashtag gloves off. And then she later on changed that caption, and it said, Today I appear to be by myself, but I'm not alone. And she put up the prayer hands, and she said, In God's timing, just London. So not sure what happened uh, with the two of them, but they did get engaged back in December of 2019 after first meeting through Instagram. They got married June 6th of 2020 during the pandemic, and now looks like it's over. Mm. All right. Uh, Drake is reportedly buying his first home in L.A., uh, L.A. proper, as they call it, and he's buying this house from fellow musician Robbie Williams. They said it's an off-market deal. So it was never listed publicly, this, this property, There's not a lot known about it, but what they did report in the L.A. Times is that Drake is uh, paying about $50 million for this house. The space is 20,000 square feet, which is huge. I thought Drake had a house out in L.A. Well, they said L.A. proper. So. But that was L.A. proper. Like, you know how you can say L.A., but it's outside of L.A.? So this is actually for real. Like, you know, it could be so like New, so Calabasas or something. So New Jersey is uh, New York proper because it's outside of New York. Well, New Jersey is a whole other state. I'm confused. But you know how you might say I live in New York, but you live in like, you know, Long Island outside of New York City? No. I say I live in Long Island. <laughs> no, no, no. I always if your address up. doesn't say Los Angeles, California, but people just say you live in L.A., but you live near L.A., that's not L.A. proper. Okay. What do people in L.A. say? Do people in L.A. say L.A. proper? <laughs> it seems that's, crazy, right? Do, do people in, I, I, want, I want to know, do people in L.A. say L.A. proper? Oh, I don't know. I mean, this is it's just... weird. This is just, like, if you LA live in Calabasas, proper. you don't live in L.A., right? No, but that's Calabasas. Right, but some people just be like, oh, you know, I live in... People just look at it, everything, I think, as L.A. around there, so... This is actually in... I mean, I do that from New York. If you live in New York, nobody goes, oh, you live in Queens? No, I live in New York. Uh, you live in Jersey? No. Uh, well, Queens is in, in New York. <laughs> New York City, I should say. I'm All right. Confused. Calabasas is not L.A. Okay. L.A. proper is not L.A. I don't know if it is or not. I don't know. I don't know nothing well, about L.A. Salute you spent LA. 50 million. Congratulations to him. All right. Now, Tyson Fury has revealed um, 
on the Pat McAfee show that he masturbates quite a bit. Here's what he had to say. What? I put most of my success down to masturbation seven times a day. <laughs> <laughs> you got this guy, you can Honestly, pop. You can really pop. Gotta you... keep that blood pumping, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. What is, that, is that why you think you throw such bombs? Because what, you've been accused yeah. you've been accused of having, what, shit in your gloves and stuff like that, right? Yeah, it's a lot. The only thing I've been loading is testosterone from all the wanking over the years. <laughs> <laughs> all right, when he was asked what he owes his success to, that's what it is, I guess, masturbating seven times a day. Seems very time-consuming, but I guess it depends on how long it takes you. Uh, and that is your rumor report. All right.